In this video, I'm going to take you through a quick overview of TransferWise before showing you how to create balances, exchange currencies, and send funds from the platform. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Everybit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where a related blog post is also available. So what is TransferWise? Well it's a money transfer platform which allows you to send, receive and spend money internationally. With TransferWise you can send money abroad get paid in other currencies, and then spend abroad using their debit MasterCard. And when you're exchanging your currency, it's at the real interbank rate, and they state that they are eight times cheaper than UK high street banks, with no hidden fees or sneaky charges on top like you find with most banks. The rate that you will see is like the rate that you'll find on Google, and you can convert your currency when the rate is right, and hold more than 50 currencies at once and convert between them in just a second. With TransferWise, people can send you local money direct to accounts that you create. And you can create local balances or accounts with your own local bank details with just a click of a button for up to five accounts, such as the likes of US dollars, Australian dollars, euros, or GBP, and all at zero fees. This could be really great for freelancers working multinationally or expats needing to send money back to their home countries. So just to give you a bit of background about the company, they're based in London and were founded by Estonians Christo Carmen and Tarvat Hinkricus. Apologies if I said that incorrectly. And they launched in 2011. The idea of TransferWise came after Tarvat worked at Skype and he got paid in euros, but he lived in London and needed to pay his bills in pounds. And Christo worked in London, but needed euros to pay his mortgage back in Estonia in euros. So every month they moved money via traditional banks, which ended up costing them a lot of money. So now, nine years later, and with the help of investors such as Richard Branson and PayPal founders, they have over 7 million customers, moving $4 million every month. Now, the fees that you pay will depend on what you're doing within TransferWise, but you have to pay for fees for the likes of sending money, which depends on which type of currency you're sending, for converting currencies, to add money to your account, converting a currency using your card, and for ATM withdrawals over your limit. Now, because of the variables, this can be quite complicated. However, they are really transparent with their fees and they're all shown upfront so there's no nasty surprises. Plus, you can calculate how much you'll pay on their website using their fee calculator. They also have their free debit card where you can pay in any currency anywhere and it will simply take the funds from your account. Or if you just don't have enough of the right currency within your account, it will automatically convert the balance with the lowest fee. The card has a 30-day cash withdrawal limit, which will obviously depend on your location. For example, in the UK, it's £200, $250 for the US, and $350 for Australia. And you'll be charged 2% for anything over this limit. And you can access TransferWise via the web or the app, which is available from Google Play or the App Store. With the app, you can obviously also enable an extra level of security with your Face ID too, which is pretty handy. So let's jump into the platform itself. I've also got a link where you can get a free international transfer of up to £500, which I'll pop in the summary below. Now it is recommended that you use TransferWise with two-step login, which you can set up in the top right-hand corner here, and then click onto Settings. And in here you can click onto the two-step login to register your phone number. However, I haven't yet set up my personal profile, so what I'm going to want to do is go ahead and do that. So if I click on to create a new personal profile, and in here as well, you'll need to put in your first full name, legal last name, date of birth, telephone number, which is obviously going to be used for that two-step authentication. You put in your country of residence and your personal address details as well. Then you can click on to save. And the first thing you'll want to do is add an account or what's known as a balance. You'll then be asked what type of balance you'd like to open first. And from here, you can select a currency from the drop-down. I'm going to select GBP because I'm from the UK. And then I'll be prompted to ask me whether or not I'd like to order my card if I haven't already done so. And the MasterCard debit card is currently available for users in the UK, Switzerland, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, and most of the EEA, and people with a multi-currency account in the US. And now that's all done, we can go ahead and get our bank details. 
so we're going to be provided with an account number and a sort code too. But the first thing we need to do is add funds into our account. So it's asking me how much I'd like to add into my account. So I'm going to add £20. And then there are a whole host of ways that you can pay. You can perform low cost transfers with manual bank transfers. You can authorise their payment from your account. You have fast and easy transfers with debit or credit cards. And then you have the advanced transfers with swift transfers. So I'm going to select manually transfer the money from your account. And you can see that it will arrive within a few seconds using this method. And it's also free. So what I'm going to do is click on to continue to payment. It then asks me how I'm going to make it. I'm going to make that via online banking. And you're then provided with the bank transfer details. So these are all the details that you're going to need to take down to actually transfer from your bank account across to TransferWise. And it's really important that you make a note of that reference number, as that's what's going to be used to map this transaction across with your account. So then you'll need to head over to your banking app and make that transfer. Once it's all done, you can click on to I've made the transfer. And at this point, you'll be prompted to confirm your identity if you haven't already done so, and you'll need to upload some photographic ID. There are a few exceptions or additional documents required in areas such as New Zealand, Brazil, or United Emirates, so it's worth looking into the requirements that you're needed for. It then states it will take a couple of working days for the certification to complete. Although for me, it actually took less than an hour. So the funds have now all come across, and if I take a look over at my activity, and you can then view all of the details in relation to this transfer. So now that your funds are within your account, I'll just give you a bit of information about how your money is kept safe. TransferWise follows strict rules set by regulators in every country that they operate in. These include the Financial Conduct Authority, or the FCA, in the UK and the EEA, Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, or FinCEN, in the US, the National Bank of Belgium in Belgium, and many other regulators around the world. And the address of your TransferWise account determines which regulator you're covered by meaning that if you're from the UK and have both a UK and a US dollar account, both of these will be covered under the FCA. And once you have that multi-currency account, you see they have the ability to send some GBP. You also have the ability to add GBP, and at the moment, it's greyed out saying convert GBP. And the reason for that is because at the moment, we just have that GBP balance, and we need to add another one to convert it into. So let's open a foreign currency account. So if we go back up to the top and click on to open a balance, you can hold more than 50 different currencies. And as you can see, the local bank details like we created earlier are only available for receiving money in certain currencies, but they do have some more coming soon too. So as you can see here, you've got those balances with local bank details. Then you have those balances without local bank details. And as you can see, there are loads of different ones that you can choose from here. And I'm just gonna create a US dollar account and then I'm going to click on to open your USD balance. So as you can see, that's taken me a matter of seconds to do it. I'm going to click on to got it. And if I click onto the drop down here, click on to get bank details. It'll then provide me with all of the information for my account. So that includes my account number, wire transfer numbers, routing numbers and address for my US bank account. And then if you want to go ahead and open another balance, and this time we'll choose one that don't have local bank details. So what I'm going to do from this list, I'm going to select Indian rupees. And then I'm going to open my INR balance. And I now have three accounts, two with local bank details and one without. So let's just take a look at doing a currency conversion now. So if I click onto the drop down beside my GBP account, and if I go to convert GBP, from here I can obviously convert all of my funds or I can simply type in the amount that I'd like to convert. It then tell me my total fees, it'll tell me the amount that they're actually going to be converting, and it'll give me my rate here as well. So at the moment, it's obviously showing me the INR account because that's one of the accounts that I've got set up. Or I can also choose for my US dollar account as well. Then once you're ready to convert that, you can obviously click on to continue, and it'll then give me a confirmation. So it's asking me, does everything look all right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on to convert. And as you can see that my US dollar account is now showing with those available funds. If I then just go back to my GBP account and click on to send GBP, and you then have the option of either international or local transfers. So under local, as you can see, it's pretty simple here. You type in the amount that you would like to send. So in this case, I may be sending 20 pounds. 
It then provides me with my balance transfer fee. It then shows me my discount that's currently applied at the moment. Now, as you can see, I have got that discount applied. And the reason for that is, is at the moment, I'm obviously using a referral code. So therefore, some of my transfers are free. So it then states that the recipient will get that whole 20 pounds as no fees have been incurred during this sending. I then click on to continue. It'll ask me who I'm sending to. So I can either be sending that to myself, someone else, or a business or charity. And then I'd need to put in their details so I can put in their email address so that if I don't know their bank details, I can uncheck this box and it will then send an email requesting that information. However, if you do have those bank details, you can obviously enter all of that information in and go ahead and send your funds. Now, I'll just take us back to an international transfer now. So from here, it's exactly the same process in the fact that you're saying how much you'd like to send. It will then tell you what your balance transfer fees are. It'll tell you the amount that they're converting. Again, it's got that discount applied at the moment. And then it gives me my guaranteed rate. Now, the guaranteed rate is an exchange rate that's guaranteed for a specific period of time. And transfer-wise, guarantee your rate for 24 hours for almost every single currency. And some are even for 48 hours too. We can also check out that rate. So if we click onto that, it'll then allow us to track the exchange rate. So in here is where you can set up alerts for the exchange and you can get real rate alerts. But just going back to our international transfer, so you then put in what type of currency that you're going to be sending to. So if I put in here Australian dollars, it then says, tells me that I could save up to £3.51 versus the average bank and it'll then tell me when it should arrive also. But what's really good is that they also have a compare price section. So in here, it gives me a little bit of information in relation to this transfer. So it tells me who is the cheapest. It tells me when it should arrive. It tells me the exchange rate, the transfer fee, and how much you'll actually receive. And what's really good is if they're not the cheapest, they'll also show you that up on screen and show you exactly who is. And when you're sending large amounts abroad, even small changes in the exchange rate can obviously make a difference to how much you're going to get on the other side. So for transfers between 20,000 and 130,000 pounds or the equivalent in your currency, you can choose between two options. You can watch the rate and send it when it's right for you, or you can send the money now with the current exchange rate. And if you're not in a rush and want to see how the rate changes over time, it's best to watch the rate. This option allows you to set up everything in advance and wait until the rate's right for you. As soon as you're happy with the rate, you can lock it and start your transfer. Or if you need to send money quickly and you'd like to get the current exchange rate guaranteed, you can obviously choose to send your money now instead. And when you're happy with this, you can obviously click on to continue, enter in the recipient details and then review that transfer. Now just take a look at debit card on the left hand side here. Now from here, if you haven't already ordered your card, you can obviously go ahead and do that from this section. So you can spend that card in 150 different currencies. You can get instant notifications and you can auto convert on the go too. And what's really good here is that you can also manage your card from your app. So that allows you to do things like managing your pin, changing spending limits, or you can obviously go ahead and you can replace your card and you can also freeze your card in case you lose it. And I'm gonna go across to recipients. And in here, you can add your own bank details or you can also add up regular recipients. And in this way, you won't have to add in the bank details every single time you're transferring funds across to those accounts. So that was my review of TransferWise. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.